welcome back to my channel. So we're finally getting settled here in Texas. We love it here so far. We've been having some really great times, meeting some really awesome people. And of course, part of settling in means the house is coming together, as you might be able to tell from just this shot. I spent some time shopping around for entryway tables, and then I got the idea, why don't we make our own? Our friend David, who you've met before if you watched my house tour video, he works at a school now and had to make some new desks for the kids and for the teachers. He asked us to come and help him make the desks. And so I thought, why not build our own entryway table? We can take the measurements we need, we can build it completely from scratch, and we can kind of make it match some of the furniture we have in the house. And so that's exactly what we did. We built our own custom entryway table, and I'm so excited to show you that now. Hope you enjoy. And of course, Sophie's here. Look at that little face. David found this wood from some construction sites around the area, so it was free, which is awesome. We did end up buying the spray paint and the wood glue. We used these C-clamps to hold the wood in place while we were cutting it with a saw because we didn't have a table saw, so we kind of made it work. Here's the teacher's desk that the guys made. It's got a cubby that runs all the way through. They ended up making two other tables as well. These were kids' activity tables. They didn't have any cubbies, but they were kind of longer. We weren't actually here for this step, but they decided that they wanted to stain the tabletops a pretty gray color and they would be paired with these really pretty gold table legs. So here I am spray painting them gold. As you can tell, I'm an expert spray painter. Just kidding, it's my first time using it, but I think they turned out pretty well. You know, it took a few coats, but here they are. Whoa! This is David's brother, Danny. He'd never met Sophie before, so this is his first time hanging out with her. And here's Chris using a woodworking router, say that five times fast, to uh, cut into the edges of the tabletops. And now they're all done. Time to make the entryway table. Here I am using the power sander to sand the top of the table down. We really wanted it to be as smooth as possible so that it wouldn't splinter and it would look better when we painted it. The top here is two pieces of wood glued and screwed together, so Chris is sanding the boards down so that the edges look more like one piece, making it as smooth as possible. Now David's cutting legs for the table out of this slab here, as well as a little shelf for the bottom of the table. You'll see what I'm talking about later. Big team effort here, and Sophie was a big help, of course. Here's the tabletop, all sanded and pretty. We probably did put these two pieces together prematurely. You'll see why later. But of course, the guys did find a way around this as well. Just shaping the edges like this makes such a difference in the overall look, I think. We rounded off the edges of the legs too. The router is probably the messiest part of this whole project, so just make sure you're in a space that's easy to clean. You may want to put a plastic tarp down, wear something you don't care too much about. David also used the router on the shelf of the table, but he stopped about two inches off the ends so that we could screw that into the table legs. And here are all the pieces of the table all finished. And this is where the guys are gonna start building the base of the table. We're gonna do something similar to what we did with the top of the table where we attach two pieces of wood, except we're waiting to do that on the legs because that way we can screw the shelf in and then hide the screws by attaching the outer half after the fact. Once the shelf is secured to both of the legs, we're going to glue and screw the outer half onto the inner half. And that way we don't even see the screws at all, which is pretty cool. You'll want a generous amount of wood glue to stick these two pieces together. Don't worry if it squishes out a little bit, it wipes up pretty easily. Now the table's on its side. We added extra support by putting two screws into the beams right under the shelf and at the very top of the base where the tabletop would go. And that way these screws are hidden. So 
when it's standing upright, you won't even see them. Voila! Now this is what I was talking about when I said maybe we should have waited to attach the two pieces of the top of the table together because then we would have been able to hide the screws in the same way. The dog next door kept poking its little face in from the holes in the wall there. It's pretty funny actually. Here we have the table base. Now instead of screwing in the tabletop the same way we did with the legs, we had to go in sideways so that we could still hide the screws a little bit. And even though they're popping out now, Chris was able to sand them down a little bit later. And you still can't even see them when it's upright, which is awesome. We did that to both sides. After all that, the table just needed a little extra support so it wouldn't wobble. And it just so happened we had the perfect size scrap piece of wood that we glued in between the legs and it sat right under the tabletop, so no more wobbling. Yay, it's all done! This is exactly what I envisioned when we started making this, and it's just so cool to have a piece of furniture in our house that we made from scratch. Chris thought that filling in the holes with wood putty would help, but unfortunately it was kind of a pain. Luckily we borrowed David's power sander again, and it worked out just fine. We got these two chalk paints from Lowe's. I think they're about $10 each, something like that. Chris is painting the top of our kitchen table, it got damaged during our move, but now it looks as good as new. I used foam brushes instead of horsehair because it helps with paint streaks, so it looks a lot smoother. And the chalk paints actually dry pretty quickly, so it didn't take very long to cover the whole thing in a couple of coats. When it dries, it's got this really pretty matte powdery finish. It looks super cute and farmhousey, which is just what I was going for. And now it's all done! I love it! I think it looks amazing. It turned out exactly like I wanted. It fits the little entry area way perfectly. And after all the painting was done, I got to go to Hobby Lobby and get some decorations. <laughs> enjoyed it please leave a like if you did and if you'd like to see more DIYs in the future subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything else because I will be doing a home tour and so much more follow me on Instagram so we can be friends and hope you have a lovely week I'll see you next week bye subscribe honey what are you wearing my awesome outfit America <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>